Whoa, whoa, sorry about that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back, we are back. We're going to get it into next week's fights. We got a good one for you. Jaime Mungia and Eric Brazilian. It should be an entertaining fight as long as it lasts. Uh, but uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes out for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get uh, all the best props. Get the updated props. Get all of the props that you guys would want. Um, you get the lock of the week. The lock of the week has now hit uh, seven in a row. Uh, we also give you – I give you another lock if you're in the Patreon. That hit as well. That was a two-play parlay. I have another lock out for you today. Uh, we're going to be up to nine straight when today's parlay hits. Guys, this is no joke. This is the best boxing advice you can get in the world. Also get, like I said, the updated parlays. I uh, get updated props. Get asked to bookie anything. Uh, get request a video. You can request me to do a fight. I get it all for you guys. You get the absolute best gambling advice in the boxing world uh, for just five dollars a month. Also subscribe uh, to the, my other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. This is an entertaining fight. Uh, we all know Jaime Mungia, what he is and what he isn't. Uh, what he is, is, is what he is, is is a big, strong, lead foot, come forward, pressure fighter. Uh, super aggressive, heavy on the front foot, wide open to be countered. He's wide open to be hit. He's super slow when he comes in. He leads with his face, uh, but he's a physical force. He's a, he's a force to be reckoned with. That's why I want to see him fight Benavides. Now, I don't know if they can make the weight work, but but that's a fight that I want to see. Good volume, very good pop. Relentless stalker, seek and destroy guy with a, with a one hell of a chin. He got dropped by Canelo with a monster shot, got right back up. Besides that, he's been hit with a two-by-four, dropped in acid, thrown on his head, and he does not go down. He, you can't hurt him uh, besides the uppercut from Canelo. He's so physically strong. He comes in behind a high guard. Like I said, good volume, very good pop. Uh, he stays busy. He can counter him, but you're going to get hit, right? Like, it's tough to, to, to sit and counter him. So you got to make him miss. Bazinian's not a guy that can make you miss. His feet are still – his footwork, his feet are still very much a mess. It, it's gotten better from when we saw him in the HBO days and stuff, but it's still very, very much – a mess. He, he's slow and, and easy to hit. His head is on a line. There's not a ton of movement. Like he is what he is. He's a physical force that throws a lot of shots, can take a big shot, and just stays on you and just comes after you. That's what he is. Um, I thought he, he counted well for himself in the loss to Canelo. I, 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 yeah, I think he established himself. Yes, he is on that level. Even though he lost probably nine, ten rounds in that fight, I thought he won probably two or three rounds in that fight. And, had some moments. He starts. He starts fast. He's got the win over Ryder. He's got a uh, you know a dramatic win over Devonchenko. Uh, he's he's improved. He's gotten a lot better. Uh, Eric Mazzini is a guy that I don't think really belongs at that level. Uh, he's got a record, and he got ranked really really high by the BA. I think he's 32 0 and 1, 23 knockouts. He is coming off a draw with uh, Shaquille Finn. A fight most people thought he lost. Got a beneficial decision in his hometown. He's fought predominantly in his hometown. He's fought in Montreal uh, since 2022. He fought once. He fought Scotty Sigmund, who's a Mexican, who's a uh, Canadian in Mexico in 2021. Now, like, isn't he? Oh no, he's, he's from the he's from the United States. I thought Scott Sigmund was from Canada. Um, Brazilian is a guy. You see him on those I of the Tiger cards on ESPN. I guess there's some kind of co-promotional deal with them and, and top rank. And he's a pretty good fighter. Um, but I think at this level, he's going to start fast too. At, at this level, he's just a notch below. I, I don't. I, he's a similar fighter to Munguia, but he's not as good as Munguia. He starts fast. He's got this really, really wide base. And he's slow and plotting, and he, and he works behind the high guard, too. And this fight's going to take place in a phone booth where they're going to sit and trade. And he stays on you, too. And he's got really good power. And there's a lot to like about it. He can get guys out. Um, he's, he's big and strong, too. He's a lot like Munguia. He's just not as good. He's not he, – the combination, the volume, it's not there. Uh, he doesn't have the volume. He doesn't – all the combinations. Uh, 
slow plotting straight in and out again not a lot of head but a lot of these things are going to sound repetitive and this is a very similar fight which is monkey is better throws hard short shots on the inside he's probably better on the inside uh, than he is on the outside like inside is where he wants to be that's where he does his best work he moves forward behind the jab he does work the jab a little bit he doesn't waste much he doesn't he works the body well too both guys work the body and he's consistently first, which is going to be the key here. He is consistently first. He throws first. If he can be first with Munguia, this is going to be interesting. To turn Munguia into a counterpuncher is going to be – that's what could work for him for this fight. Ultimately, I, I don't see it working over the length of the fight. So let's pull up the odds. Let's see what we got here uh, in a really, really intriguing fight. And I'm going to be live at this fight in Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm very much excited for this fight. So here's what we got. We're, and we're going to build our parlay around this. Minus 1,200 is, is kind of wide for this, although I, I think he's certainly going to win. Harrell bet is going to just make you $8.33. It is what it is. But this is a great fight that we can add to our parlay, help bring our odds, odds down. And when the props to drop, jump on over to the Patreon. It's five a month. Link is in the description. It's also not a little ticket below. Five a month. We're going to bet Munguia by stoppage, and we're going to bet the under. We're going to bet uh, – we're going to not bet the under, but we're going to bet the fight not to end by stop. We're going to bet for the fight to end by stoppage. Someone's getting knocked out in this fight. My hunch is that it's um, Brazilian that gets knocked out, so we're going to bet that, right? We're going to bet that the fight doesn't go the distance, and we're probably going to bet Munguia by stoppage, but I want to see the odds in that. But for your parlay, throw this in there. Easy money. It's safe. Munguia's going to win this fight. Um, and then – the fight's not going to go the distance. Lock it up. Like, that That would be a lock. Let's see what the odds are on that. But I like that idea a lot. And then when Gia by stoppage may also be a wise bet. But we have to wait and see until the props come out. And hopefully, they come. the fight is on Friday, not Saturday. It's on Friday. So take a look at that. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Block on all forms of social media. Uh, it is September 14th, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.